This is how we decorated our dream home. Welcome to Casa Gonzo. My name is Mick van Leeuw and I'm the owner of this place, Casa Canzo. You might have seen us on TikTok or Instagram and we got loads of questions of how we decorated this house. Telling you all the colors, materials, where we got the things from. I hope to inspire you to create your own Canzo style at home. So let's take a look. One of the most asked questions is of course, how did you guys create those rounded shapes? Well, we did it in two different ways. First of all, the walls. We had a woods worker create these walls out of a simple frame, covering it with plasterboard. They simply made some cuts in it and then we covered it with plaster work in order to create this look. We covered it in lime paint in color Lin Lisse from the brand Van Beton. Secondly, we did of course the roundings in the kitchen. This is done by Studio Voy. They are a specialized brand that create kitchens like this. Actually, it's a simple wooden base and it's covered in micro cement. This micro cement is applied on the location so it doesn't crack, it doesn't tear, it doesn't do anything and it's very waterproof. Next to that, we created a solid surface out of terrazzo. And this terrazzo has a unique feature because it's poured on the location. We did it out of these marbles that are a separate product out of, for example, bigger slates. And these colors together form the color Kanzo and it's made by Karadi from Amsterdam. And look how cool this is. This is how terrazzo is made. These are scrap marbles from other productions and we chose them to combine our own color, color Kanzo. It's done by Karate in Amsterdam and we really wanted something unique, so that's why we designed it ourselves. Look at them rolling it in. It's so satisfying to watch. You don't actually see any type of stains or anything, so it's, it's a perfect base for a kitchen top. I actually don't drink any coffee, so this is more Nick's place, but still we paid some attention to it. For example, if you take a closer look, you can see that we have a separate faucet here. This is a cooker with hot boiling water, and we chose that because I didn't like the features on our bigger tabletop. And next to that, we have this Smack coffee machine, which is perfectly blending in because of the colors, and that's the only reason I chose it, just to be honest. <laughs> next to that, we have the micro cement shelving and the walls, because these are waterproof. And I really wanted that, because with coffee and tea, it's, it's a mess, and you don't want that. Then, onto the way we prepare our food over here. We created a similar style as in our coffee corner, but we did it a little bit differently. That's because of the terrazzo over here. It's more stain proof, and if you create a stain, you won't see it because of the marble effect. And we chose the stove top over here because it's a big black spot in our kitchen. So we chose to hide it a little bit and not place it over here on our countertop because then you would see it very clearly. Next to that, we have the terrazzo in the same way as we have on our surface over here. And then we combined it with the micro cement you see everywhere else in our kitchen. So it's a very subtle way of combining these materials. Then we have a second big black square over here. It's a gas fireplace, so it's gas lit and we don't have gas in this house. So we created this by the use of separate bottles, which are placed outside. This is an outside wall. When I come home in winter and I'm standing here with my back against the fireplace, I'm warming myself up and I love that. This is one of the most asked questions next to the rounded shapes. Merk, what is this color? It's called, and take notes, frozen walnut by the brand Shinoki. I'm happy with it. It doesn't stain, it doesn't do any crazy things you don't expect it to do. And then we go on to our dining area. As you can see, we have a similar material there because we created this table out of walnut. Actually, it was a thing that scared me a little bit because this color walnut is completely different from our kitchen. What we did was therefore place chairs with different colors wood so it would blend in together. It's a little trick we apply because in order to create an atmosphere that's really ton sur ton, as you say in French, we really wanted to blend all the materials together. And by using 
wood that's made out of different colors. I think it's a very subtle way of combining all these materials. This table is created together with the brand Boxworks and it's actually made specially for this house. So I'm super proud of it. It's an organic shaped table and it's very big. As you can see, if I walk back here, it's almost three meters long. And we did that because we really wanted to be here with all of our family and friends. And this wallpaper really is an artwork by itself. As you can see, it's a 14 meter long wallpaper and it's custom made for this house together with our interior designer, Lotte Vase. She's from Studio De Blique and she helped us create this. Then we go on to one of my favorite corners in this house, my donuts. This one is the Boa Poo from Sabine Marcellis and I absolutely love it. Is this sitting comfortably? Yes, it is. <laughs> I was telling everyone how comfortable this seat is and I think you really vote for that too, huh? I think items like these really contribute to that. All the materials we chose here really have that feeling. Same as with these curtains and they're from the brand Hema. It's a Dutch brand and these are sustainable, locally produced. I really love them. It's linen and they have such an amazing feel. I mean, look at how the light is shining through. It's such a beautiful fabric. Next to that, we chose this travertan floor. It's a ceramic tile by Michelle Aubin. How to create a door that's opening to an area you don't want to see, but you still want to have it light and vibrant. And we created it together with Gewoon Gers. It's called Door Conzo, of course, and you can buy it there. We chose for this milk glass in a steel frame base on our light switches. Yes, our light switches. <laughs> These are from Subham, Belgium. And actually one of the buttons in this house, if you press it, everywhere starts playing Beyonce music. I'm a fan. <laughs> These are from the Dutch brand Lichtadvies 010. They are based in Rotterdam and they helped us with all the lighting in this house. I can really, really recommend them. Our living room. It's a relative small space, but we chose it on purpose. More of a hideaway where you just have a chat with your friends, have a glass of wine. That's why we chose this sofa like this. It's separated into two areas and we created it with boxworks. And it's part of the Kanso collection. So they created the dining table with us, but also this sofa. I really wanted a white sofa, but not with the stains and everything. These are all elements and we can combine them and put them everywhere we want. <laughs> Next to that, we have some decor over here. This is a fecha palm. It's a really beautiful palm. Most of the decor is from H&M Home or Zara, like these. And this is a really special cabinet. It's actually an artwork from Rem Atelier. I just fell in love with it and I needed to put it here and it combines these areas perfectly. These are from Lifestyle and the artwork is from my sister-in-law. The curtains, again, from the same brand as everywhere in our house from Hema. And the blanket over here is actually more of a carpet-like, but um, it's from Quantum, a Dutch brand as well. So that's it for part one. This is our kitchen, our dining area, and of course our living room. But upstairs, of course, we have our bathroom and our bedroom. And that's what you will see in part two. So watch that video, stay tuned, and see you later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.